of the things that I have observed in the years that I've been working with people trying to navigate weight loss and uh, you know what's important and what's absolutely necessary the webinar that we're making is focusing on how you go about breaking through a weight loss plateau how you go about dealing with uh, a stuff weight loss kind of scenario and uh, what I've observed. These are the high points. Later on, I'll let you know about the webinar when it's ready, and then you'll be able to take a peek at that and get into more of the details about it. Uh, but we've got water, and hopefully you can see on, on Facebook here, I can see it's a little far away. We have water, sleep, stress, and then under stress, I want you to know that it breaks out into a couple of different perspectives, okay? Stress is, um, from a hormonal perspective, thyroid and adrenals. All right, so when it comes to your weight loss being stuck, so far what I've said is water, sleep, and then stress are important factors, okay? And then stress breaks out to be the hormones related to thyroid and adrenals. And then under stress, right, these hormones, we've got food intolerance, lifestyle, infection, and over-exercise, as well as, of course, under-exercise. So if you're not exercising enough, that's going to cause problems too when it comes to trying to, to lose weight. But I find that oftentimes people will overuse exercise uh, thinking that that's the way that they need to go about um, losing weight and uh, not understand that there are other variables and factors that are playing into it, okay? And so when it comes to water in the webinar, I'm going to cover how much water you need to be consuming. That's a big part of the FRL Diva Slim Down. We talk about it a lot. Uh, so you don't have any issues or concerns with knowing how much water you're supposed to be consuming. But I can tell you this, it's going to be very hard to lose weight if you're not drinking enough water. Okay? So you want to be hydrated. You want to look at are you at least consuming the minimum recommended amount at this point, which is like 64 ounces? And remember that the 64 ounces increases if you're consuming uh, alcohol or caffeine, okay? Uh, sleep, how much sleep are you getting? Are you getting enough sleep or are you chronically sleep deprived? Uh, getting four to six hours of sleep on a daily basis is not gonna allow you to uh, accomplish your weight loss goal. So if you're trying to find a place for why you might be stuck, you wanna look at sleep, okay? Stress, so if you have a thyroid problem, all right, if, you have, if you're suffering from thyroid issues uh, and you already know that, you've been diagnosed and you're being treated for it, uh, you know that you're going to be having problems with losing weight, okay? But then on top of that, a lot of times people aren't aware that they're having um, adrenal issues too. And adrenal fatigue and adrenal problems uh, will show up as a constant level of fatigue, struggling constantly to find your energy, uh, having dips throughout the day energetically, uh, craving salt, um, having a, a terrible time with sleep and hormones and digestion, things like that. So if you're having problems with adrenals or thyroid, you're going to have a, a problem with weight loss, right? So then what kinds of things can trigger problems with the thyroid and adrenals? Where we're looking at food intolerances, which is a big one that you're going to uh, find yourself tackling with the FRL Diva Slim Down. It's very much an elimination program. If you're familiar with the Whole30, it's a very similar concept to the Whole30. Um, but I've been doing the slim down for a while now and um, it's been quite effective for, for clients. I mean, it's a great way to, to lose weight um, in, a, in a month and be able to see healing as well as weight loss. And a lot of the focus with it is addressing food intolerance. So the FRL Diva Slim Down is going to pull a lot of those foods that people find themselves reacting to, find themselves sensitive to, but they don't even realize that's the case. Okay, so I pull out like the big eight, uh, a lot of eggs and dairy and gluten, etc., and the uh, sugar substitutes. Uh, all those foods that would be causing problems for people and they don't even know it, that's a big part when you look at food intolerance of the weight loss resistance piece. Now, I can have people come and do the FRL Diva Slim Down and never get to sleep right, <laughs> and never stop, stop over exercising, and just address food intolerances and see a good bit of weight loss. So I want you to understand that when it comes down to, you know, should I be doing dairy, should I not? Should I be doing um, bread and gluten products, should I not? 
I see a lot of weight loss just with pulling those foods out, okay? So if you're dealing with stuck weight loss, the whole point of this, this uh, Facebook Live and this Instagram Live is to get you uh, thinking about the different things that could play into that because it can be a lot more complicated than eat less, exercise more, all right? And uh, going into lifestyle stress. If you have a lot of stress at work, if you have a lot of personal stress, if, you're, if your body is constantly in a stress state, it's going to be a lot harder for you to lose weight. So thinking about things like meditation and yoga and spirituality and prayer, things that you can do to help you manage your stress better, that can absolutely help with weight loss because what we're looking at here is the thyroid and adrenals can get really impacted by stress and block your ability to lose weight. Okay. So infection and overexercise. Overexercise is one of those things that will stress out the adrenals. So that's why that's on there, okay? Can really stress out the adrenals and the thyroid, making it difficult for you to establish um, your goals or reach your goals because they control your ability to lose weight. So if your body doesn't want to be exercising all the time, but you're pushing it to do intense workouts, intense exercise at times where you just have no energy, it can make it really challenging to be successful with weight loss, even though you're quote unquote doing all the right things, right? You're exercising, you're not eating very much. Um, and then infections. What I find is that people more often than not that I'm working with will have chronic candida infections, uh, so yeast overgrowth in the body and not be aware that that's where some of their cravings are coming from and that's what's going on with their digestion, that's going on with some of the, the other areas of their body that are being impacted. And because they have such an intense overgrowth of candida, they're having a problem um, with their body's ability to to deal with the stress of that infection, okay? And that's blocking their ability to lose weight, all right? So these are not direct paths to weight loss. This is when your weight loss is stuck, and I do a lot of this work constantly with my clients. Why am I mentioning all this? We have an FRL Diva Slim Down, which is my group nutrition program, and it is coming June 5th. And I want to um, alert you to that fact and let you know that uh, I am in the middle of preparing a webinar talking in more detail about all these different factors that play into stuff weight loss. And it'll uh, be available to you. It'll be on YouTube. You'll see some notifications on Facebook as well as Instagram when that's ready for you. And I just wanted you to get a kind of a heads up here on what we'll be talking about in the webinar and maybe even in the meantime get you to thinking about do you need to look at your water? Do you need to look at your sleep? Do you need to consider um, managing your stress better? Are there foods that you really don't need to be eating and you know it but you're eating them anyway and they're contributing to your inability to lose weight? Okay. All right. Hopefully this was helpful to you just this little bit. Um, again, the FRL Diva Slim Down is coming June 5th and uh, there's information on www.tiffanysfitforlife.com on how to sign up for that. That is a three week uh, nutrition program uh, where you will get all kinds of information about what to buy, how to shop, how to prepare your food. You're going to get lots of accountability and support in our online Facebook group. Uh, we do this every Every single month there are different levels to it depending on what uh, amount of weight you need to lose how experienced you are with doing a whole food based organic uh, a hormone free antibiotic free meal plan so there are different levels the price point can range from anything from 120 to 169 and there is a detox uh, option as well always on the monthly program and so that's our FRL Diva Slim Down and that's what today's Facebook Live was talking a little bit about the aspects around food intolerance and pulling foods out that actually can be uh, blocking your ability to lose weight as well as some other factors that we do address in the FRL Diva Slim Down